Speed. Measurement principle is typically kind of an encoder. Yeah, so it gives you pulses as it turns, which means strictly it's measuring angle, not speed. It gives you a pulse per degree. Yeah, and you typically have two phase shifted pulses, which then can be used to detect the direction of the speed. Yeah, and you can create them in various ways, magnetically, optically. Um, these are the two most common. Optical, you just have kind of a, of a slice with holes or, or interruptions and you have light going through this slice and you detect this light coming in and from that you get your pulses. Or you do it magnetically, which means you need a kind of a magnetic sensor, coils, a reference pulse sensor, uh, and you need a pole ring with magnets which then generate in the first place two sine waves when the magnets go by the coils. And then you need an electronics again to convert these uh, sine cosine signals into a pulse series. Actually, we offer both met methods because both have pros and cons. So it's up to you to decide whether you would want to go with an optical system, which actually has a high accuracy, very small group delay. It's simple and cheap, uh, and you can use it down to very low speeds. Yeah, whereas it's an open system, so it's fragile. It's it's uh, sensitive to to moist or or dust, whereas the magnetic system is not influenced by these things. But as you need to convert the sine cosine signals to digital signals, you have a group delay, which might work against you for certain analysis you want to do, like DQ0 uh, transformation. I'm pretty sure my colleague Mitch, Mike, uh, Mitch Marks will tell you later this day about. This is how a typical output so signal look, looks like. So you have two differential outputs, uh, one pulse, um, and, uh, and a phase shifted second pulse, which gives you then the, the direction information and the reference pulse, which gives you one pulse per revolution. Also that is measured by frequency for the same reasons and with the same problems that you need a counter timer. So the most common way is to use an incremental encoder it measures angle, not speed, and you have a differential transmission. And they might be magnetical or optical with pros and cons, and we offer both.